back at it again, y'all. Another movie. Oh, yes. There's reasons for my lack of content lately that I could tell y'all about, but... Nah. Oh, snap. This is officially larger than life. Y'all ain't know we had the NCG. I'm trapped in Marietta right now. I'm also wearing this suit. Oh, yes. The clean as hell out here. I exist differently than y'all. That's right. I just saw the movie. No spoilers. Look up the ending credits on YouTube. I'm in the parking lot. I just said goodbye to the homies. We had a weird sitting situation where everybody was kind of scattered across the theater. We've seen the movie, so shut up. I'm in my dark ass whip because I drove this time. Oh, yes. Oh, back in the house. I took the hat off. I undid the blazer. Also, I did the cut. The cut relax. I'm at home. The Sonic movie, yes. Now, this Sonic movie, y'all, I don't want to spoil it, but I definitely tell you guys that you need to watch it. And what I can say is, there is moments in the Sonic 2 movie that, unlike the first movie, wasn't there. And the reason I say that is because of this. Honestly, I had no problems with what I'm about to mention right now. But people have issues in movies like this, like they said before in the King Kong Godzilla movie, that the human parts, the Wachowski family, People believe that it's out of a balance between that and the main ingredient for this will be Sonic. Or maybe they take away from the actual plot of what's going on in the movie or what people expect to actually be going on in the movie. Now like I said, the first movie I didn't have this problem. But if you did have that problem in the first movie, I could definitely tell you that the second movie does not have that problem. But yes, the human parts are still there. However, this is much more than Sonic. As in, as you all know, Tails and Knuckles. As long as we're talking actual characters, yes, Dr. Eggman. Robot Nick himself, Jim Carrey. I'm accepting no Jim Carrey hate. You, you know what I'm talking about. Jim Carrey killed it once again. But what I was talking about, because with Knuckles and Tails, they kind of are the forces that drives this movie more than anything. Because yes, the big plot of this movie is going after the Chaos Emblem. Chaos Emblem. That is, that is it. The big green thing. Yes. But of course, being the character driven person I am, the bulk of this movie is set up between the interactions between Sonic and Tails, the relationship, the brotherhood that they build, as well as going back and forth with Knuckles going through the fisticuffs. Also, their interactions with Dr. Eggman, this is much. You know, we're pretty much at the point where Dr. Eggman is honestly as much as the main character in this show, well, movie, series, as Sonic is. If it wasn't for the Wachowski human parts, freaking they'll have an evenly distributed screen time. And of course, the real life adventures that's going on. Sonic and Tails leaving their comfort zone, going around the world because that's what they do with them rings. This is not a spoiler, but I'm gonna say it. That dance off. Perfection. Go see this freaking movie. Now that I think about it, the second movie was better. I like the second movie better. Especially with Homecoming's sister. That she just turned around like, <laughs> you're hating on the human parts? Really? Sorry if that sounds weird, that's just what my certain friend group was calling it, so that's what I'm doing. Basically the parts of the movie that ain't got much to do with Sonic is what I'm saying. Yeah, not thinking about it, what, 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 what was a bad scene in this movie? Is the ending in this movie I legitimately had a problem with? Nah. Especially the climax. Mmm. I'm gonna talk about that so bad. The groin. Yeah, I said it. Watch the movie. Are you the groin? Are you the groin in somebody's life? Watch the movie. And the voice acting for Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles is just fantastic. It's so evenly balanced throughout this movie. Like, the attention to detail in this movie is great. Although I gotta be real, even Dr. Eggman being Jim Carrey, that took the first place last time. Baby character this time around is Knuckles. Yes. I've always been a Knuckles fan. Knuckles is one of the big names in my household growing up around the Sonic fandom, so... Mm -hmm. No disrespect to Tails. Tails was the funnest to play in the old GBA games. Yes, Game Boy Advance, bitch. But yeah, man, in the interest of time, we need to take this suit off. Damn good movie. I'm waiting for Sonic 3. And honestly, with the stuff they put in this movie, kind of already kind of confirmed Sonic 4. This franchise ended up longer than any of us expected it to be, bro. It's ready. You guys, if you leave a comment, let me know what you think. Like this video for me, and I will see y'all hit that spin move.